I recently got my tax return back, which I always, that always is a little bit of a relief because I feel like that means I'm not going to get audited. The first year I started doing comedy, I had another job and I got audited uh, and it was a nightmare. And I didn't have my records, my computer had crashed. So now whenever I make money uh, in comedy, opposed to my day job, what I do is I take that money out and Monopoly money and I set that aside so that no matter what happens, I have a clear, tangible record that I can report. <laughs> and it's silly, but it works. And at the end of the year, I can just blow that money. I'll buy like a railroad company, <laughs> a water workstation, a hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. That's my favorite purchase. One year, I'd like to just send that into the IRS, see if I can get away with that. Maybe I'll slip through the cracks. At the very least, I could get an auditing call I enjoy. Like, uh, Mr. Ramsey, while we appreciate that you threw in an extra hundred thou, we can't really take Monopoly money. And I'd be like, oh, well, can you send that back? I'm kind of in the middle of a game right now. Mr. Ramsey, this is very serious. If you don't pay your taxes, you will go to jail. Yeah, no, I'm not real worried about jail <laughs> right now. But I'll tell you what, I'm feeling like a gentleman wearing a top hat and a monocle. Uh, where are you to send the check? You're like, we're, uh, we're, we're in D.C., down the street from the White House, 1000 Pennsylvania Avenue. Did you, did you say Pennsylvania Avenue? <laughs> Are you in a hotel right now? Because I think you owe me money. <laughs>